Tuvalu is a small archipelago set in the vast Pacific Ocean, comprised of nine inhabited islands and home to around 11 southern people. As well as a rich marine ecosystem, already under threat from climate change, this beautiful country and its wildlife are facing another danger. Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. The situation has become even more dire since their only patrol boat was damaged in a cyclone, leaving Tuvalu's water vulnerable. In partnership with the Tuvalu and Maritime Police, we have been patrolling the country's water for the last three months. We discovered two fishing lines from the vessel Li Hang 666, measuring a total of 9.5 km. The fishing vessel doesn't have a license to fish in Tuvalu's water. From the second line of 8 km, we removed 149 hooks and were able to sell a yellowfin tuna. Unfortunately, other animals had already died, like this juvenile silk shark, a vulnerable species. Ghost fishing kills regardless. However, every line we recover helps save marine life. These events enable Tuvalu's government to pursue legal action against the Lihong 666. The recovery of this line strengthens the partnership between Tuvalu and Sea Shepherd. While patrolling, we've been monitoring satellite imagery of Tuvalian waters. Since we started patrolling, fishing vessels have scattered into international waters and fishing activity has dropped significantly, by about 60%. If all these were legal operators, they would have no reason to run away, making it a great testament of the deterrent effect of Sea Shepherd's presence in the fight against IUU fishing. Uh, my name is Tevai Teoti and I'm from the island of Niutao. Living in Tuvalu before, it was uh, very easy. People were really relying on the ocean. When I was a young kid, people just paddled in canoes. Very easy to find fish. Nowadays, you can go miles away from the island and just to catch fish. Fishing vessel, which is today taking most of the species. Thinking about of the futures, as long as people have one mindset, making all uh, like balance, then I'm pretty sure we can change the future. Our efforts extended beyond enforcement to support Tuvalu and its people where it's most needed. The crew of the LNK played a crucial role in responding to medical emergencies. The mission started when the government was asking us for help to bring a sick patient from an outer island back to the mainland in Funafuti. Tuvalu is not just one big island, it has several small tiny islands around it. So if anything happens over there, it's important to bring people back to the main island where they have a proper hospital. We were working very close with local doctors and nurses from Funafuti to make this mission and this operation go as smoothly as possible. Uh, not only those campaigns have a direct uh, impact on the ecosystems, but it is also a long-term impact of uh, bringing that deterrent effect and making a clear statement to all uh, fishing operators in the region that the waters of Tuvalu are a safe haven for wildlife and that the legislation will be enforced by the police with a partnership with Sea Shepherd.